Hey, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Um, today's example you see here is a Mr. Schmidt BF 109. So the Mr. Schmidt BF 109 was a uh, German fighter that was the main fighter pretty much of the Luftwaffe since the beginning of World War II. Um, it was introduced in the Luftwaffe in 1937 and it actually first saw action prior to the war and it actually saw action in the Spanish Civil War. So nearly 34,000 aircraft were built in all its variants by war's end. And uh, even, uh, I think over 800 were being, being built post-war as well for the Israeli and Spanish Air Force. So what will do is we'll get stuck in this bad boy. So this is um, Warbird series uh, by Dragon. And um, I actually bought this second hand and uh, I paid $30 and that was including the postage. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So, <laughs> But um, this is the G series and I think the G series um, were what, the most produced of all the variants within the uh, Mr. Schmidt line. So obviously it's black one of JG27 1944. So enough talk. Let's get this bad boy open and have a look. So as you can see, oh, it looks all right. I mean, a little bit faded. I don't know if the standard yellow tinge to the plastic, but let's uh, try and get this thing open. And get a good look. So we'll just turf that box over there, and there you have it. Um, so obviously. Oh, a little little stand there, as, as you can see. Um, so I suppose that's assembled like that. So you've got your little stand. So this is a little under, underwing cannons there for this model. So this is the G6. And as you can see, it's got some instructions, pretty clear instructions. To You can have a cockpit open and cockpit closed version. Wheels down, wheels up. You know me, wheels up. I mean wheels down, sorry. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this open and have a look for some reason this propeller has stuck up there so we will take this out and have a look um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll spin her over and have a look underneath it comes wheels up um, I'm not sure how easy what we'll do is we'll have a quick look and see how easy okay we'll just pull that out so let's have a look. Let's see if we can manage to get this out. So I suppose the configuration should just drop in there nicely. I think that might be the wrong way around. Yes it is because it slips in a lot better that way. And obviously there's a little tail wheel, so let's see if all my thumbs can pick that up. We'll try and slip that in, and there we have it. So obviously there it's got um, little uh, spots for the um, fuel tank that you can put on, and it's got the extra pieces for the, the canopy there, and little little aerials for the wing and and, and uh, for the wing tips. So we'll move that to the side and move this out of the way, so we can actually look at this a lot easier but um, yeah that's I reckon it's a pretty good rendition of, of the 109 you can see the um, details are quite nice it's got all the um, markings um, oh, let's have a little look at the oh, tail okay it does not have the oh, right it does have a bit of movement in it though but it doesn't have um, the markings but you can see the um, detail panel lines are pretty good. I think it comes up all right. And I mean, I, I paid $30 for it, so I'm not going to complain. Um, obviously, buying this new from a, a shop or anything like that will be a bit more dearer. I think these are, are normally around um, the $100 mark or somewhere between $70 and $100 mark. Um, but no, I think the, um, the colours are nice on it. You know, I, I think apart from that, that, you know, missing tail decal, it, everything else is pretty pretty accurate. I think it's um, a very good, another very good bit of kit, as I like to say. But um, obviously the um, those gun mounts that are in this packet just slip into there. Um, it's pretty straightforward, so I won't demonstrate how that's fitted. Um, but uh, obviously the the stand just plonk. How about we just put it that way 
and obviously I must have it backwards because I don't think it's supposed to be facing that way. <laughs> so we'll just put this on properly. That's it. And there you have it on presented on the stand. So yeah, I reckon it's a pretty good rendition of a Mr. Schmidt G6. So this is obviously uh, um, from, you know, dra as I said, from Dragon Wings. It's Warbird series. So this is the uh, Mr. Schmidt 109 G6 in 172nd scale die cast. Uh, black one uh, from JG27 in 1944. So as per usual, you know me, after this um, video, I will post up some stills of this aircraft without my sausage fingers in the way. And uh, you can have a better look. But yeah. If you, you know, enjoyed the video and you found it helpful in any way, just yeah, throw us a like if you can spare it, and uh, even subscribe if you want to um, you know, keep up to date with some more videos that I'll be posting up. So yeah, thanks again for spending the time with us, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>